So you want to play for the CSKA? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't have to be CSKA. Well, any military club will do. Listen, kid, did you hit your head or something else recently? I didn't. Why? <laughs> You've lost your sense of humor. <laughs> of course any will do. I mean, it's not like we have ten or five clubs nationwide. Just two. Mm. You won't help me then? Yeah, I never said it wouldn't help you. <sighs> Hello. Yes, Major. Good morning. It's Kazantsev. <laughs> yeah, same with you. Uh, Major Stan, I'd like to know when the next recruitment will start. Uh, yes, in the fall. Uh-huh. That's the first one? Yes. That's it. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Well then. We've got a month. We don't have a lot of time, but... Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Listen carefully. You didn't have your phone with you, you got that? But he said that man was insisting that he saw me hold my phone. Like this. Who cares what he saw? Nobody witnessed it. You just happened to hold your phone while you were fixing your hair. Got it? Are we clear on this or not, Jane? Yes, I get it. It's just... Alex saw me do it too. What did he see? He saw me talking on my phone. I thought you said that you were almost planning to marry him. And your point is? My point is, if he's a decent guy, then he'll only want what's best for you. Of course he's decent. Thank God. Well then, I hope he also saw you fixing your hair at that time. <sighs> Listen, maybe it's a mistake. Mistake? The cops? I'm telling you now, it's all true. He's from the Financial Crimes Unit. They have it on file. So I listened. All the names starting with K. Look, Kalinsky, Karepetyan, I know this guy, Kuchetkov, nothing. I don't get it. Don't get what? Well, who is this guy and where is he from? It's obvious. He's Kazantsev's guy. I know that. So what's bothering you? You know what? Your relatives are up to something. Oh, I wonder what? I'd rather go there and headbutt him real hard. Calm down. There's no need for that. Why not? Don't you get it? Do you even play cards? Why do you ask? Doesn't matter. Just answer the question. You know any popular card games, huh? I do. Well then, you see, nobody ever plays the trump card right away in the first round. Am I right, George? You keep them until the right moment. Oh, hold on. Hello? Yes. Uh, well, about that, um, can you bring it tomorrow? I was expecting that today. I don't know. I'd rather rip them off from the start. Hey, Tony, I've got an idea. Over the top! Go over! Rita! Do something, don't slack! Pressure her! Let her up! Okay, stop! What's the meaning of this? You tired after just the second workout? I don't know, coach! Who knows then? Listen, ladies. We're done for today. I'll see you in two days. Hey, Rita, tomorrow at 3 p.m., I'll wait for you. We'll train one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks, Coach. I never should have gone this way and went south instead. You told me that the protocol didn't mention any phone. I know that. But they might ask it in court and they'll ask you first. Me? You. I'll tell them if they ask me. Tell them what? What's with the stupid questions? Of course I'll deny everything about the phone and say no one was talking. Thank you. No problem. Although there is something else. What is it? Well, it turns out that the man we hit is Valentine's uncle. Which Valentine? Valentine Nazarov. For my team. He's actually the Bears number 16. You're kidding. Who we'll joke about this stuff? Anything new? Whoa! Hello, Mr. Zhilin. Mr. Kazantsev, how are you? I'm good. All good. Please, have a seat. I won't say no to that. I'll sit. Whoa! You're burying yourself. Well, Look at all these papers. You could have told me you were coming. I have nothing to offer you. Why would I? You do the same. What do you mean? You know, I hear that people from the administration were skating around here, but you didn't tell me. Hmm? Oh, you meant that one. Oh, yes, that one. They just showed up and skated around. 
Besides, we had an open slot at the time. An open slot? That's right. Who do you think I am, my brother-in-law? You know I've been the sporting director for who knows how long, and you're talking about a time slot. I know that every minute on the ice had already been booked in advance. Listen, Vadim, I'm serious. Well, Serge called before and he said that the training had changed. And you just went with it? Of course, because you told me to help Serge. So then who did you help when you went to the sauna with the city guys, huh? You know about that, huh? Oh, yes, I do. It's out, buddy. Don't you forget that this is my territory. I'm not disputing that. That's wise of you. Are the contracts here? It's all in the safe. I'll get it. Not all. Go get Andrews. Just Andrews? <clears throat> Did I just speak in tongues right now? Remember, having two alpha males in two territories, that never ends so well. It's nature's law, got it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Give me that. So what happened? Whoa. How old are these? I have no idea. Dad got them secondhand. Oh. Uh, and you've been using them long? A week, maybe. Well, these are not safe. You can get seriously injured if you use these. That's fine. Maybe we can fix this right here. Rita, are you crazy? This is garbage. It's not safe. You need a new one. What can I do? Should I tell Dad? I need new skates for my college studies. Well, maybe you want to skate for fun. Mm -hmm. Let's fix this and just use it for fun. You know how my dad's like. Ready to go? Go where? The workshop. They can look at it. Maybe they can fix it. Okay. <sighs> That's it. We need it. We need to revise it. Mm-hmm. Then have all players sign it. I want to introduce a brand new reward point system. You got that? Meaning? You know what? I'm so sick and tired of your dumb questions. How can you be so damn stupid? Which player did they buy? Tell me. Which one? Star players. Mm -hmm. Try to keep up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do they need to score? Incentives. Exactly. <laughs> you learn fast. <laughs> so why don't we try to reach them individually? Because they'll have different contracts. So who told me about it? I just did. Go on, do it immediately. All right. See ya. Alex. Yeah? Wait up. Why? Hey, man. Hello. So is there anything you want to tell me? About what? That I know? Why didn't you tell me that it's that Samoyl of girl that mowed my uncle down? And you were also there, Alex. What the hell, man? I thought that case was different. You knew it all along. I knew I was right. Valentine, what is it you want from me? From you, nothing. But that bitch will pay. And her dad can't save her. She's not a bitch. What then? How could she not see a person on the road? He jumped in front of the car. Oh yeah, sure. Last time I checked, his family name wasn't Kamikaze. Well, then he was drunk. And she was told that over the phone, am I right? Over the phone? Over the phone she was on. Did she even look at the road or was she focused on the phone? Why can't you answer? Because there was no phone. The hell there wasn't? She wasn't on her phone. My uncle saw it with his own eyes. Oh yeah? Did he also see a crosswalk there? You know, the one that doesn't exist. I see how it is. You see what? Keep doing that, bro. Keep doing what? Let's all cover up for the daughter of a traffic officer. Screw you, Valentine. No, screw you. Hey, George. I've been looking for you. What is it? Will you be a friend and help me with some revisions for the contract? What's wrong with the old ones? I'll explain it to you on the way. <sighs> Fine, then. Was Kazantsev here? Actually, that's why he came here. He's introducing a new player reward system. You serious? What the hell's wrong with the old one? Uh, well, he, um... He plans to give some incentives to potential stars. And our mythical Mr. K seems to have given the go signal oh, for it. Oh, I see. You see? <laughs> we got money without a sponsor. <laughs> so come on! Hold on, Tony. Are there any special incentives for the coaches, too? As for the coaches, they'll be paid by Mr. Zhilin. Not sure about Serge, but I'm sure of the others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Michael? Nope, it's Peter. Hi, Dad. How's my baby girl? I'm all right. When did you arrive? I went here straight from work. Oh, really? So you're no longer greeting your mother, is that it? You're only thinking about Michael. Sorry, Mom. Hello. Hello. 
Right, I brought you your favorite snack. Thank you, Dad. Now, let's have a talk. What do you want to hear? About you. Why bother, Dad? <laughs> Mom probably told you everything by now. Aline... Don't shout at me, we're in the hospital. I'm not shouting. So, how are you feeling? <sighs> I'm fine. Fine, I'll go for a walk. Come on. What? Why don't you just go speak to your daughter? Because it seems like her mother is just ruining her mood. Dad, I'm just... It's all gonna be fine. Your mom did tell me everything. About Michael, too? <laughs> Him, too. <sighs> Move it, Simon! Excuse me, uh, where's the head coach? His skate's shoelace broke. <laughs> I see. Attention, everyone! I have an important announcement for all of you. Everyone gather round! Come closer, everyone. Here goes. Uh, fellas, I'm gonna need all of you to stay here after your training. All of you have to sign the amendments that we made to your existing contracts. And what amendments would those be? We already signed them once. For slavery. 300 years. <laughs> In order to further motivate our players, we're introducing a personalized reward system. I repeat, personalized. Whoa. Yes. Assist and score goals and all other scored points are going to be compensated differently in accordance with the new reward system. And what's worth what, sir? You'll know all the details upon signing. Whoa. That's it. Please continue training. See you later. Keep moving. Hello there. Coach Serge, you're late. I'm not. And you're just early, Mr. Zhilin. Keep moving! You, start with the warm-up already! Lead the man to ball! Move it! Vassal, what brought Zhilin here? About the bonuses. Could you kindly elaborate on that? What happened? She's fine. I saw her out. That wasn't my question. What then? Did you talk? Of course we did. No, we sat in complete silence. Now's not the time to joke around. Our child's in the hospital. The Capitol has kicked her out. All thanks to- The Capitol didn't kick her out. She couldn't join because she's injured. Thanks for that. I know better now. I had no idea. I'll ask you again. Have you made a deal with your daughter? I don't understand why I still have to ask you this twice. I don't know what you're asking. Of course you don't. Did you ask Aline to stop seeing that Michael or not? No, I did not. And why not? I didn't. Because she loves him. Do you understand? All right then. Of course. That's it. I just want to go home. <sighs> or I'll lose my mind if we stay here any longer. Coming, dear. <laughs> Start preparing for the next drill. Pucks and cones on the ice. So how much do you think we'll get for scoring a goal? <laughs> I bet they'll only pay for a cheap puck. And us? For us? End of season. You think they'll consider the plus-minus staff? I think they will. It matters in the KHL. I know it's a separate bonus. Whoa. That's cool. Okay, stop! Gather round! Valentine, what's with all the chatter? I was just asking. And who did you ask, Andrew? Yes, coach. Is he the team's bonus specialist? Well, I read about it, though. Seriously? You're not paid here to read. Same goes for talking. And you're doing both. Look, we're not doing anything. You're interrupting the coach. Keep this in mind. Bonuses are like fillings in a chocolate. 
No chocolate, no fillings. And we get chocolate in every match. Get your heads around that. From now on, all I want to hear is your heavy breathing during this training. We hear you clearly, coach. Did you get that, Captain? Then please prove to me that you get it. If you want to earn like a professional player, you have to act professional. Let's go three by three, in zone. Move it! But listen, ma'am. When I tell you that the signature must be clear, it means that you have to sign it clearly. You could have just left any fingerprint. What do you mean, resign it? It's a contract, not a piece of toilet paper. What is it? I'll call you back, ma'am, as soon as I can. So what do you want? Why was I not informed of the new reward system? Come on, Serge. What's with the question? Between the two of us, who has played in the NHL? What's with the NHL? The NHL, because you know how the bonus system works, right? What is bothering me is the player's individual bonuses. There's nothing I can do about it. Management demanded it. Mr. Gillen, that is great and all, but it should have been handled differently. Different how? You should have discussed it with me to begin with. Also, you should have prepared the players. Well. This new system is making them act like loose cannons on ice. Then go and prepare them. You're the head coach here, aren't you? I meant mentally. Then take care of that, too. It's part of your job as their coach, am I right? Mr. Gillen, you know, sometimes I seem to get the feeling that hockey is dear to you as ballroom dancing is to me. Why don't you dance out of here? So when do you leave? At 2.30. Will you drop by? Well, I'll try to. Aline, you don't have to worry. I'm sure you'll be able to skate better than before. Remember what I told you about Nancy? Yeah, Kerrigan. I know, but let's just change the topic, please. No more ice. But you know, it's Michael, a... please stop. I don't want to skate anymore. But you've worked so hard. I'm done with it. I had one chance to achieve something great and I blew it. That's it. Can I please just say something? Say whatever, but not about ice. You feel that way now, but soon you will feel differently. But it won't be different. Ed called me from the capital. So what? They've already found him a different partner. Listen, I don't doubt that guy. But life doesn't start and end because of him. You just have to believe, Ali. I've had enough. Please take me back to my room now. This won't be the last time we talk about this. I don't care anymore. Will you help me or not? <sighs> Wait for me. Dad? What is it? Why are you still up? I just can't sleep. Well, Grandma has some sleeping pills. I can get you some. You don't have to. I'll be fine. So why are you holding that photo? I dreamt of your mother, God rest his soul. You had a nightmare? Not really. It's OK. I'm fine. Let's sleep. All right. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Morning. Sir, yes, sir. Found any ailments to avoid service? Nope. I thought of pretending to be gay, but then it would, um, ruin my reputation. That's not funny. What brings you here? Are you also recruiting now? Well, I'm just here to celebrate my son. You still have legs and both your arms. Are you disappointed? Not really. It's just that someone threatened that he'd be in pieces once he's here. My trip or something. Break a bone or two. Well, I just thought, why should I rush? Officers break you in the army, don't they? So why ruin all their fun? Where to? I need to get physically pumped up. I have a game later. See you. But... Uh... 
Dad, are you not going to work today? It's canceled. They canceled? They just canceled it at the last minute. And how about the money they paid? What about it? They already paid you. Don't worry about it. They'll take it out of my paycheck. Will you give way, please? Are you leaving? I am. Okay, then. Dad, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Lunch is in the fridge. Grandma will come later. Okay, thank you. I'll leave then. All right, bye. Fellas, faster. Look alive. Hurry. We leave in 10 minutes. Hey, Tony, will you be taking your car? Isn't it obvious? Can I ride with you? I thought you would go with Serge. No. That guy prefers to ride with the masses. Really? Then why does he need a car? The club's paying for it. I have no idea. I also think it's unnecessary. Damn it, I left it. What is it? Mom made me lunch, but I left it at home. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. Hey, are we good? Can we leave now? We can't. Simon left his lunch at home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Simon. A good keeper is a hungry keeper. If you do well, I'll take you to a restaurant. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah. let's go. А ты прячешь глаза за фарами И все идет чередом, как дорами Твои мысли поют гитарами И тревожат душу минорами А вокруг все гуляют парами И друг друга чувствуют порами А ты прячешь глаза за фарами И тебе непременно здорово Когда станем однажды старыми И усталость на плечи горами Не забудь меня, а то мало ли Какими мы станем сеньорами И тебя жизнь выжигала пожарами И мою не измерить приборами Скоро нас принасытит угарами И запустит седины в городу И неважно какими странами Мы не заменим родного города Мы останемся другами, братьями И сегодня мы выпьем поровну Те, кто время крадет между парами Today's battle is between Team Diamond and Team Bear. Simon, we're in a game. Where's your head at now, huh? The clouds? I was keeping my focus, coach. Focusing on what? Sit down and rest. Go, go, go! Left! Turn to your left!
team was given a penalty. What the hell, 21st century? When will you stop buffering? Mr. Kalinin, it's me. Wow, if you didn't tell me, I would have mistaken you for the SWAT. What's wrong? What's wrong? This. We've developed nanotechnology, yet we can't load a website. Let me call the technician to check that. Really? Then they're going to go call the cops so they can check on me. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Let me try. You don't have to. What now? Do you have it? I have it. Show me. <sighs> Where'd you get it? Plotnikov, he's silenced now. <laughs> Watch your mouth. I didn't mean that. Well, I know, I know. Well, what's that? Four to one. Uh, we lost. The bears lost? The bears did. <laughs> Nick. Yes? Listen carefully. All this money should be taken to a very particular person. And who is this person? A very important person. All right. Good. Excuse me, coach. What is it? You promised an assessment. The team's listening. The team, you say? That's the one thing I didn't see today. What, deja vu? Painful, familiar words? What are you looking at? That team was not on the ice today. But coach, why do you keep saying there's no team whenever we lose? Because you were running around like kids on a playground. Each for himself. Oh, well, come on. Andrew, this will be your final warning. Don't comment on the coach's words, especially with come on. I'm sorry. You only play today to earn bonus points. You only thought about money. Hockey is a team game. It will always be. If the team wins, everyone wins. It seems like we're back to square one. Are you saying that we didn't try? Not exactly. But your performance today seemed that way. It's like the story of the ugly duckling. Sorry for the pun. Do you remember where the bus stayed? Two games, one point. If you're satisfied with that result, then I won't get in your way. I'll leave you be. Please think about it. Okay, everybody out. Hey, Serge, can we talk? What? Uh, look, I watched the game too, but it's not how I see it. See what? That it was each man for himself. The diamonds were just better, they were fresher. Basil, have I ever diagnosed the player's injuries? No, you haven't. So then just stay out of it. And even if I thought of something out there, believe me, I didn't say anything wrong. What if Serge was right? About? We weren't playing as a team. It's just two games. Don't worry about it. Yeah, right. Hey, Tim. What? I want to hear about what you think. On what? 
Do you think that we play as a team or not? Uh, Just leave him alone, Gregor. I'm not asking you, Andrew. What then? You're new here, so you're more objective. I'm not sure. In the chemist, we usually went to a sports bar every Friday. For what? For fun. We just talk, watch hockey as a team. It made us a lot closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. But where'd you get the money? I already owe my folks 30 bucks. Hey, guys! Michigan checked the cards. So what? He said the money arrived. Whoa! <laughs> Val, there's money for the bar. <laughs> Valentine Sports Bar. This is what team spirit does for us. Look, Gregor even started speaking in rhymes. <laughs> All right, we'll rest for today, but come back tomorrow for the deductions at exactly 3 p.m. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes sir. Coach. See you tomorrow, then. Wait a moment. Coach Serge, may I? Of course, Basil. Go ahead. Listen up, my astronauts. You just got your salary. So in connection with this, I'm asking you to spend it on something benign. What do you mean benign, Doc? At least not on beer and anything that might be stronger than that. Yeah, obviously, Doctor. It only became obvious after you were warned, Gregor. The man is right. Thank you, Basil. Need a ride? That would be nice. Come on. Tomorrow, then. See you, Coach. So, are we still going today, or what? I'll go. I'm in. Yeah, I'm cool. What time? Is 7 o'clock okay with everybody? Okay with me? All right, see you at the sports bar at 7, then, boys. Can we bring our dates? Yeah, sure. Catch you all later, then. Later, guys. All right, okay. see, you. Yeah, see you later, guys. guys. Bye. Tim. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Cool. Me too. <laughs> Let's be friends then. Say what? <laughs> Relax, it's a joke. <laughs> yes, hello, sir. I'm by the front door, and you? Oh, I see you now. Hello. So, what do you want? Well, I just wanted to know if there's any status updates, sir. Because I already passed the medical. Quiet, boy. Your medical's good. We only ever have the big story. Which is? One is to four. You lost again. It just wasn't our day, sir. Is that right? Seriously. It was a new goalie. You're saying he's not as sharp as the others? You're the king and he's a wimp on ice? How many did you net then? Zero? How many assists did you make? Also nothing? So how do you expect me to help you then? You know who I am. This match doesn't imply anything. So what should I tell them? That you were once a star in the regional league? And that you even met with Mr. Fetiso? Mr. Kazantsev. Mr. Kazantsev would. Spit it out. So won't I get a chance at all? There is. There's always a chance. We make our own chances, and then we blow them. What do you mean? It means that people will be at the next game. They're gonna be checking what kind of player you are. Which next game will- The next game is the one you'll be playing next. Boy, don't you ever interrupt me like that again. I'm sorry, sir. They're gonna be scouting you. You know what's going to happen if they see me pushing a boy scout with a stick instead of a forward? What do you think they're gonna say about me? Then I will try my best. Oh, really? You can try your best in the kitchen, when they order you to peel potatoes for a whole dang battalion. Here, you have to turn yourself inside out and back again. Got it? Yes, sir. Well done, then. Get on now. Start marching. Wow! <laughs> we finally got it. Hello? Andrew, hey. Hey, what's up? I have a favor to ask you. I'm listening. Can you do something for me? To do what, huh? Tend your garden? <laughs> Can I borrow your car? I need to meet someone and drive them somewhere. No problem. Five bucks a minute. All right, then. <laughs> I'm kidding. What time, then? Well, 30 minutes before the party would be great. Okay. I'll pick you up? Yeah, thanks. That would be super cool, man. I'll be right there. Alex. Yeah? Look, I actually owe Jane some money, dude. Why don't you pay her back? Can you please give her this? No problem. Thanks a lot. See ya. See ya. All right, you ready? Let's go. Do you still not get it? What's to understand? The whole team's gonna be there. Their dates, too. Valentine will be there, too, right? Damn it. I forgot. What's up with the case anyway? Do you have any news yet? There's nothing special. I heard they hired a lawyer and his wife's asking for money. Why money? I don't know. It's absurd. Let's not talk about it. Okay then. Oh, speaking of money. What's this for? Actually, Michael asked me to give that to you. It's more that I lent him. He didn't have any smaller bills. I can go change him if you want. I'll just give you the change. 
I wonder where Michael got this large amount of cash. He doesn't even have smaller notes. Yeah, I'll pass it on. By the way, we just got our salary today. Good job. So, how about we go out somewhere, you know, have some dinner? Just to celebrate? Well, this is worth celebrating. Let's go. La, la, la. Just perfect. Пускай за окнами небросский мир, черно-белые полоски дни, и кажется, что только ты один на один. Оставь привычку накручивать без причин и оживи маяк души. Быть может, заветной мечты корабль в пути. Не стой ноги, встал с утра И за окном провинция, а не Москва Не так, как во снах Да и пусть так просто чувствуй, брось страх Пора освободи себя от оков Эй, грэмма! Грэмма, ты дома? Эй, Грэн! Эй, Ло! Эй, Ло! Что-то произошло? Смотри для себя Для тебя Okay, so what is all this? Dad, what is this? I'm asking you a question, Dad. I'm sorry. You're sorry. I see. Sorry. Michael. Yes? He dreamt of your mom last night. I know that. She spoke to him. She told him not to report to work today. What, so he can just get drunk? You see, Michael, the bus with, with his whole team crashed. Three of his team members died. Can you imagine? Are you serious? He didn't go. Don't you see? Your mom just saved your father's life today. I still find it so hard to believe that happened. It gives me goosebumps. Grandma. <laughs> Dad, you okay? I'm sorry. Tomorrow, I'll be sober. Hello? I'm outside. Where are you? You sound weird. Are you okay? I'll wait then. Mom, Dad, look! What's that? Money! The team got paid today! Finally! Our son started earning money! Well done, Simon! I don't see anything done well in here. And why not? Don't you get it? He got paid for what? For losing the game? We're just starting, Dad. Beginning or the end? There's no difference. People should only be paid for their victories. Will you give the boy a break? Do you see any boy around here? Last season we only played for free, Simon, but we got better results. I see. So you don't need the money then? Drop it. Give it. Give what? Return it to him. <laughs> Have it then. Yes, Mr. Kuzmich. Which cruise is it? Ah, well, we were just about to discuss that in our next meeting. I'll take a look. Son, take this. Mom. Just take it. It's your first salary. Buy yourself something. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Thanks for what? It's your money. Okay. Go now. Go. Well, where to? The hospital. You mean to Aline? Yeah, I want to take her to the party. Then what's wrong? She's depressed and might reject me. Will you help me? How? You're good with talking to people. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Andrew, when she cries, I just freeze and become speechless. I feel you, man. Great. So that's why you've been grumpy. Nope, you're the grumpy one. Mm, humor? So there's still hope. Are you leaving? Yeah. What is it? Got a sec? Sure. What happened? Well, nothing yet. But a friend of mine just called me. He's a medic at the induction center. He said he'd seen Andrew there. Where? Induction center. What did he do? He had a medical screening. 
Hold on. But Basil, Andrew's studying law over at the Institute. They have military training there. I was surprised too. My friend saw his files personally. Another place of work he wrote Bear's Hockey Club. All right, let's go. I'll handle it. Aline, hmm? please join us. I need a break too. What happened to you? It's about my dad. What happened to him? Well, nothing really happened to him. It's just his work. But forget it. Let's just go. It'll be fun. <sighs> Can't you see I'm in a hospital? Madam, this is for you. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? So I just talked with a doctor on duty, and for two hours, the patient will be under our care. <laughs> yes. Mr. Ponomaryov? What? Hand over your arms. Here. Not like that. Yep. Ah, I got it. Madam, have a seat. Sit where? Sit here. We will take this throne to the car. <laughs> Stop, but seriously, how can I... No one will get in our way. I promise the doctor that you'll be back in two hours. Let's go. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> She's heavy. Hey, be quiet. <laughs> quiet down. Simon, where are you taking me? You'll find out soon. The cafe? Nope. Movies? Nope. Come on, just tell me where we're going. Well, you're getting new skates. What skates are you talking about? What do you mean, hockey skates? Are you being serious right now? I'm serious. But I have no money. I know, but I do. I won't let you. Won't let me what? They're expensive. I have the money for it. No offense, Simon, but they're really expensive. I just earned some money. I can buy a gift for the girl I love. Say that again? What? About the girl. Um, I mean you. No, you said something after the word girl. Oh, girl I love. For real? Yeah. Let's go then. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, come on. I heard about a hedgehog fishing? You told us on the bus, Simon. What about Mr. Vasily on a submarine? It's about, um, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fellas. Whoa. Whoa. So who called her? I did, so what? Hello. Hello. We brought a surprise for you guys. Okay. <laughs> By the way, Dana made it herself. Guys, we need an extra table. Help me, Valentine. Simon, have you thought of a joke yet? Heard the one about Nemo and Dory? Yeah, we're listening. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for this. But just the thank you won't be enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your mom? Yes, it's mom. What if you don't answer the phone just for now? Well, I'm sure she'll call the ambulance if I don't. Hi, mom. Oh, good evening, honey. I'm still at the hospital. Then why is the music so loud? It's... it's music from my laptop. I'm just lying here doing nothing. Simon, <laughs> be quiet. Mom, they're now calling us for dinner. I have to go. I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, bye. Sorry. <sighs> Peter. Yep? Would you mind coming with me now? Where are we going? I want to go to the hospital to see Aline. Really? At this hour? Yes. At this very hour. Alex, can we talk? About what? My uncle called, and he told me his collarbone isn't healing well. We've already discussed this a million times. Oh, did we? That again. I don't see why not. Okay, fine. For the nth time. Jane wasn't on her phone when the accident happened. If I was also paid, I'd also deny she was on her phone. What payment? I don't know. Real money, maybe? What are you talking about? You know what I mean. Yeah? So what is it? Well, I saw how the cop's daughter handed you money. Are you blind or something, huh? I was paying her back, okay? Oh, really? Yes. You may be blind, but it doesn't mean that I am, man. Screw you. Go piss off, you jerk. What did you say to me? You heard me. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, hey. hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Enough. Easy, easy. I said enough. Just calm down. What's the problem? Evening. 
Bon appétit. Thanks. And you are? I was sent here by a Mr. Kalinin. Mm, Kalinin. Please have a seat. Thank you so much. May I open it? Unless it's a bum, of course. Goodness, no. It's not. Please. What's that? Mr. Dubovsky, it's all for you. <laughs> 